Okay, number one. A couple things going on here. So when watching your video, it did seem like 200 was the last correct thing you got. Um, so one thing to remember, even when you're doing the videos like that, demonstrating how things went, if you're unsure if something is correct, always assume it's not and don't keep going. Only move on when you're confident that you did get it correct. So even in videos like that. Uh, moving forward, if you can always send videos like that before we have the lesson, that would be very good because that gives you and I more time uh, during that lesson. So that could be helpful. So something to think about, just do that if you can. Um, so yeah, 190 is the maximum I want you doing this at. This way you are close to where things want to break down for you, but still in control, but still being pushed, you know, still having to really concentrate and make sure things sound good. So I mentioned some stuff at the top of the guitar profile. So basically, if you're going to work up anything in the 5 BPM increment way, do no more than that. Now it could be these four bars plus the next chord. It could be these four bars plus the next chord. Really doesn't matter which four bars you do. I just wouldn't do any more than that. Working this entire thing up in fives would take way too long and definitely increase that risk of error. So uh, playing the whole thing with the repeat is the goal at 190 maximum. If it feels like that's too much, then just try it at 180. And if that's too much, like try it at 170 and so on. So I did mention also using Guitar Pro's percentage feature. So just in case you don't know about it, let's take a look. So basically up here, you want this guy turned on and come down here and just put this at 50%. So when you do that, you know, to play along to Guitar Pro to help you learn the pattern. And you could mute the MIDI, MIDI guitar if you want, and uh, just follow along with the Guitar Pro click. But either way, or uh, yeah, anyway, so once you can play all that comfortably at the 50%, then do it at 60%, and then just kind of work your way up that way. Other thing that's going on here is helping you learn the natural notes on the fretboard. And that's really just paying attention to what the root notes are with these chords. All of this is basically like your power chords or fifth chords in the key of C major, also known key of A minor. There's only one exception to this and that's the B5 chord. So the B note, yes, that is in key. But that middle note there, that's an F sharp, that's not in key. However, when using power chords, fifth chords, you can get away with stuff like that and it still sounds okay. So it's not gonna sound bad when you play through this uh, chord progression here. So basically just going from E up to E and then A down to A and then you repeat. So. Let's demonstrate this at that 50%. This was at 95, was it? Yes, 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 95. Okay. So I'll play this at 95 and then full speed. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
speed. 190. A one. Two, one, two, three, four. On to number two, tapping. So hopefully this will help uh, help you not get worn out so quickly because we'll go between the pinky and the ring finger for the fret hand. Here we go. 60. One, two, three, and a four, and a... Twenty. One, two, three, four. One, sixty. One, two. One, two, three, four. So again, one, two, one, two, three, four. Takes one, two, one, two, three, four. Oh my god, one, two, three, four. And again, one, two, let's get it right now. There, good lord, two hundred. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. There. Two forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Repetition. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. I can't play today. One, two, one, two, three, four. There. All right. Bends. Yeah, so the bends you did definitely sounded pretty good there. Much, much better on that D string. I'll have to scroll through this as we go because there's a lot here. All right. So I will be playing to the backing track again. Change the setting here. All right. So what we're going to do is hit or play three notes. And then we recreate those same three notes, but bend the first of the three. So one, two, three. So let's go through this line, line by line. And uh, not a big deal about the, the rhythm. Definitely do something that seems to fit. Here we go. Three, four. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for those drums to kick in. Should be starting here any second.
again. Next part, we got half step bends. Back to some whole step bends. Back to some half steps. Alright, now the lower string, bottom three strings, whole step bends to start. Oh, I lost my place. Oh, there we are. Okay. Half steps. Back to the whole steps. And half steps. about covers everything I know we got a shortened week there so yeah sorry about not doing it until Sunday you probably got that automatic response though rarely ever am I doing anything on a Friday um, I know that coming up here so we got uh, the Thanksgiving holiday on the 23rd I didn't do any fee adjustments for anyone on Thursday because we got five Thursdays this month so one of the weeks is a freebie that being said if you can get me video stuff like Wednesday, I'll definitely get you a video that week still. Uh, I know that's a, a few weeks out, but just a heads up on that. We can, we can definitely get something done still. Just send things over Wednesday, a day early. That'll be very, very good. All right. Um, and that's just for the Thanksgiving stuff. You can send it, like, as far as, like, this material here, if you want to send video over, like, Wednesday, uh, if you're feeling up to it, that's good. Or maybe send it sometime on Thursday before the lesson, also good. But we can always just do the review during the lesson again. But if you can do the videos before the lesson, it will help speed up the process of the review, which means we can get to the new material faster. But either way, we'll get it done. Any questions, let me know. I'll see you again uh, in a few days.